There's so many others that will give you a better understanding of the history of Christianity. The history of the text that you're reading. Because you're going to say, I'm not a Christian, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, but you're reading the same text, brother. Take a look at this one. The Jesus Mysteries. And what about this amulet of Dionysus as a crucified figure pictured and dated 500 BC in Zeitgeist? Timothy Freak and Peter Gandy, cited seven times in the film, feature a picture of the amulet on the cover of their book, The Jesus Mysteries. The Zeitgeist claim that this amulet dates back to 500 BC is a lie. Actually, the amulet dates centuries after the first century AD, after the establishment of Christianity. One researcher, James Hannum, documented, Although it features on the cover of the Jesus Mysteries, Timothy Freak and Peter Gandy are actually quite circumspect about the amulet in the text. I emailed them to ask in which book they had found it. Peter Gandy kindly replied that it was in the second edition of Guthrie's Orpheus and the Greek Religion, as well as R. Eisler's Orpheus the Fisher, first published in 1920. Oddly enough, it isn't in the appendix of either of these books. On my next visit to London, I looked both these books up at the Warburg Institute and found the note in Guthrie's work that the amulet was believed to be a fake. In subsequent email correspondence through an intermediary, Peter Gandy eventually came clean. I will quote in full. I have to admit that James Hannum is correct. Kern's comment is indeed in Guthrie's book. In sum, not only is the amulet shown in the film Zeitgeist and on the cover of the Jesus Mysteries a fake, but at least one author of the book knew it was a fake and kept quiet about it until now. This displays the dishonesty of Zeitgeist's freak and Gandhi, discrediting their researching abilities. First, uh, let me say something about freak and Gandhi's book. I do not recommend that book. I would prefer that no one ever read it. It's only marginally better than Percy Graves' work. Their research is un key part is shoddy and their source citation is minimal and problematic. There's no way to know when they've gotten something right or wrong without redoing all their research which makes their book useless. And that's the same complaint I had to get the Graves' book. To, to figure out what's in there that's even correct, you have to completely redo the whole work and you know why even read the book if you're just going to do all the work yourself anyway. I'm going to tell the truth, I won't hold back no more. These teachers are here lying. They're about to get destruction.
much confusion, we need some help.